I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of a cartographic technique called masking. Uh, this is where we take an area of focus in our map and sort of fade out the stuff that's around it, uh, still allowing a bit, of, um, a bit of regional context, but definitely creating a visual focus at the area we want. So I've got a couple of layers in here. I've got uh, the Vermont Town Boundaries vector layer, and then I have a, a digital raster graphic of uh, the USGS topos for this central Vermont county called Washington County. I'm going to zoom in on the state capital, uh, which is Montpelier. It's this, this one in the middle here. And just to start, I'm going to select that polygon that represents the Montpelier Town Boundary. We're going to do a couple of quick geoprocesses. So we go to Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, and Buffer. We want to make sure that the Use Only Selected Features box is checked. Uh, that way it doesn't buffer every feature in the data set. It's just buffering the Montpelier polygon. Uh, our units are in meters. So for a map of this scale, I probably want to uh, you know, cover everything within about a 50 kilometer radius, because uh, that's about all that will be in my map. So I'll say buffer out to 50,000 meters. Uh, and then I want to dissolve the buffer results. And then hit OK. It's a very quick process. You just add the layer when it's done. You can see that it's a fairly large circle covering our, our area of interest now. Now in order to remove that area, that uh, town boundary polygon, and create sort of a window into into that data, uh, we're going to do another geoprocess, which is called a difference. In this case, we want to use the buffer that we've just put in, but then we want to remove from that the Montpelier town boundary. So it's still selected in this VT town simple layer. Uh, that box use only selected features is checked. Just give a new file name, and then hit OK. Also a very quick geoprocess, and then we add the layer. Now you can see I'll turn off the original buffer, I'll turn off the town boundaries, and you can see that that little window lets the raster underneath come through. Um, this is pretty stark as it is, so what we're going to do is a little bit of styling. Go to properties. I tend to like using the new symbology, but it's, it's a personal choice. Um, our transparency, probably best if we set it about one quarter transparent, so 25%. And then white tends to be a really good fade color for this sort of thing. Creates a sort of a fog or a haze effect. Uh, and we'll hit apply, get rid of that. And you can see that we have the town of Montpelier with its raster data coming through clearly. The stuff around it is still there, but it's faded into the background. 